Yes, hello. Good morning. Welcome to Native Come. Good morning. Yes, can you learn? Um, and the title is I'm very sad and upset. Okay, yes. it's correct. Yeah. So let's have the today's goal. Kindly check. To be able to talk about feelings. Okay, and now let's proceed to the today's phrases. Kindly repeat after me. What's wrong? What's wrong? I'm so sad and upset. I'm so sad and upset. Okay, now let's proceed to the new words and expressions. Kindly check the directions. Listen and repeat after your teacher. Okay, so now I would like you to repeat after me once. What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? Sad. Sad. I'm so sad. I'm so sad. Upset. Upset. I'm upset. I'm upset. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Disappointed. Disappointed. I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed. I'm sorry to hear that. 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 Cheer up. Cheer up. Cheer up. Cheer up. Worried. Worried. He's worried about you. He's worried about you. Angry. Angry. My brother is angry at me. My brother is angry at me. Okay, that's great. Now let's proceed to the short conversation. Kindly check the directions. Read the following conversation with your teacher. Okay, now kindly repeat after me. Okay. Okay. Layla found Sophia crying by herself. Layla found Sophia crying by herself. What's wrong, Sophia? What's wrong, Sophia? My boyfriend never calls. <coughs> Excuse me. It's okay. My boyfriend never calls me back anymore. I'm so sad and upset. My boyfriend never calls me back anymore. I'm so sad and upset. Why doesn't he call you back? What's going on? Why doesn't he call you back? What's going on? I don't know why I'm very disappointed. I don't know why I am very disappointed. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Cheer up. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Cheer up. And my older brother is so angry at me. And my older brother is so angry at me. You are living with your brother, right? Why is he angry? You are living with your brother, right? Why is he angry? I don't know, but maybe because I don't study, eat or sleep. I don't know, but maybe because I don't study, eat or sleep. I think he is worried about you, not angry. I think he is worried about you, not angry. I don't know, I don't understand people anymore. I don't know, I don't understand people anymore. Okay, great. So now let's, uh, let's do a role play. I'll be Lila and you'll be Sophia, okay? Okay. Let's start. So, Lila found Sophia crying by herself. What's wrong, Sophia? My boyfriend never calls me back anymore. I'm so sad and upset. Why doesn't he call you back? What's going on? I don't know why. I'm very disappointed. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Cheer up. And my older brother is so angry at me. You are living with your brother, right? Why is he angry? I don't know, but maybe because I don't study, eat, or sleep. I think he is worried about you, not angry. I don't know. I don't understand people anymore. Okay, so now let's switch the roles. So I'll, this time, I'll be Sophia and you'll be Lila. Okay? okay. Lila found Sophia crying by herself. What's wrong, Sophia? My boyfriend never calls me back anywhere. I'm so sad and upset. Why does he call you back? What's going on? I don't know why. I'm very disappointed. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Cheer up. And my older brother is so angry at me. You are living with your brother, right? Why is he angry? I don't... I think he's worried about you, not angry. I don't know. I don't understand people anymore. Okay, so now this time, let's proceed to the question and answer, okay? Okay. Now kindly check the directions, can? 
Answer the following questions about the story. Okay, so please answer my questions. Number one, how is Sophia? Uh, she is sad and upset. Mm, that's right. And number two, do you think Sophia's brother is angry at her? No, I don't think so. Mm, yes, that's right. No, I don't think so. But I think he is worried about her. Yes. Okay, great. Next, number three. <coughs> Do you think Lila is worried about Sophia? <coughs> Sorry. It's okay. <coughs> okay. So again, do you think Lila is worried about Sophia? Uh, you, you can take, you can have a water. Take, okay. Take great time. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Okay, thank you so much. Welcome. Yeah. Uh, number three. Uh, yes. Hmm, yes, I think Layla is worried about Sophia. Okay, wow, very good, Ken. You did a great uh, job in answering the question and answer. So now, this time, let's proceed to the exercise, okay? Okay. So please check the directions. Look at the following pictures and talk about how people feel using the words in the box. Okay, so, but before uh, before we'll start our exercise, can you read the words first inside the word bank or inside the box? Hmm. Uh, okay. Okay, so let's start now. They are arguing. How are they feeling? I. Uh, they f they are feeling angry. Okay, so they are angry. Okay, you don't have to mention the word feeling. Okay. Okay. So, just they are angry. Okay, but it's a great good. So now let's proceed to the second picture. <clears throat> Today is his wedding day. How is he feeling? He is nervous. Yes, that's right. He is nervous. Next, their children are not coming home. How are they feeling? They are upset. Okay, very good. Next, she doesn't have friends. How is she feeling? She is lonely. Yes, very good. Next, his girlfriend is leaving him. How is he feeling? He is sad. Okay, very good. Oh, by the way, Ken, can I excuse you just for a moment? It's okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you so much. So let's continue. Okay. The girl he likes is whispering to him. How is he feeling? He is happy. Okay, correct. Next. Their favorite team won the game. How are they feeling? They are excited. Okay, very good. Next. Mm. They have a successful business. How are they feeling? They are proud. Okay, very good. Can you are able to answer all? the exercise correctly so now let's proceed to the free conversation okay okay so please check the directions let's use the phrases and the words you've learned during the lesson and talk about the following topics freely okay so now let's have number one so how are you feeling today and why mm. I'm good because, 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 um, I'm always good. Oh, you're always feeling good. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. So what else? <laughs> so that's all. That's all. All right. So how about this one, number two? Ask your teacher how he, she is feeling today and ask him her why. 
Hmm, how are you feeling today? Yeah, so as you can see, I'm not feeling well. Hmm. I have a sick, I mean, I am sick and I have a cold and a cough. So that's why uh, I cannot concentrate well with my lesson and I'm so sorry about that. Yeah, so... And actually, I just got got back from work uh, after my five days absent. <laughs> mm. okay. Yeah, it's because I I had a fever last week, so that's why I just came back from work. Mm, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> Thank you so much. No, it's not. It's it's no. Uh, it's not a problem. Okay. Mm. Okay. Yeah, so now, Ken, since we still have a lot of uh, time, so would you like to proceed to the next page? Yes, please. Okay, now kindly change the text, look. Okay. Okay, let's start. So the title is Who Makes Dinner at Home, right? Yes. So can you repeat after me? Who makes dinner at home? Who makes dinner at home? Okay, now kindly check the today's goal. To be able to talk about who, where in the simple present tense. Okay, now let's have the today's phrases. Kindly repeat after me. Who makes dinner at home? Who makes dinner at home? I do. I do. Okay, now let's have the new words and expressions. So, you can only repeat after me. Delicious. Delicious. This is really delicious. This is really delicious. How to. How to. He teaches people how to cook Italian food. How he teaches people how to cook Italian food. Enjoy. Enjoy. He enjoys it. He enjoys it. And they. And we. I envy you. I envy you. Either. Either. My husband doesn't cook. Uh, doesn't cook home either. My husband doesn't cook at home either. Ah, okay, at home either. So now let's continue to the short conversation. Okay. Okay. So just repeat after me first. Sarah and her friend Lydia are eating lunch at Lydia's husband's restaurant. Sarah and her friend Lydia are eating lunch at Lydia's husband's restaurant. This is really delicious. I love it. This is really delicious. I love it. Thank you. My husband teaches cooking, teaches cooking classes too. Thank you. My husband teaches cooking classes too. Really? Where does he usually have classes? Really? Where does he usually have classes? Here. He teaches students how to cook Italian food in this restaurant. He enjoys it. Here. He teaches students how to cook Italian food in this restaurant. He enjoys it. I envy you because my husband never cooks. I envy you because my husband never cooks. Ha ha ha. My never cooks at home either. <laughs> my never cooks at home either. No way. Who makes dinner at home then? No way. Who makes dinner at home then? I do. I do. Okay, so now this time, let's do a role play. So I'll be Sarah and you'll be Lydia, okay? Okay. I'm sorry. This is really delicious. I love it. Thank you. My husband teaches cooking classes too. Really? Where does he usually have classes? Here. He teaches students how to cook Italian food in this restaurant. He enjoys it. I envy you because my husband never cooks. <laughs> Mine never cooks at home either. No way. Who makes dinner at home then? I do. Okay, and now let's switch the roles. I'll be Lydia and you'll be Sarah. Okay. This is really delicious. I love it. Thank you. My husband teaches cooking classes too. Really? Where does he usually have classes? Here, he teaches students how to cook Italian food in this restaurant. He enjoys it. 
I envy you because my husband never cooks. Ha ha ha, mine never cooks at home either. No way, who makes dinner at home then? I do. Alright, so now this time, let's proceed to the question and answer, okay? Okay. So here's the question number one. Where does Lydia's husband have cooking classes? Hmm. He has cooking classes in his restaurant. Okay, yes, exactly. Next, number two, does he like teaching students? Yes, he does. Okay, correct. Next, number three, who makes dinner at Lydia's home and why? Hmm. Uh, Lydia, Lydia makes dinner at Lydia's home because uh, her husband never cooks at home. Okay, wow, very good. You're able to answer all the questions correctly. So now, let's have the exercises, okay? Okay. All right. So kindly check the directions. Look at the following pictures and arrange the words to complete the sentences. Okay, so let's start now. Hmm, okay. Who makes lunch? The mother does. Where does she make lunch? She makes lunch at home. Next. Yes, next. Where do they eat? Where do they usually eat? They usually eat at Jay's restaurant. Who drinks wine? They both do. Next. Where do they live? They live in Hawaii. Who Who drives the car usually? No. Who again? Who usually drives the car? The boyfriend does. Next. Where do they have the birthday party? They have the birthday party at Katie's house. Who enjoys the party? Everyone does. Okay, very good. Ken, so now this time let's proceed to the free conversation, okay? Okay. Okay, kindly check the directions. Let's use the phrases and the words you've learned during the lesson and talk about the following topics freely. Okay, thank you. So now let's have number one. So do you often go out on weekends? Mm, no, I don't. Oh. Okay, so <laughs> I think we cannot proceed to the next question. Where do you go and who do you go with? Really? Uh, sometime. Okay, sometime I, oh. I eat out with my friends on weekends. Okay, so you go with your uh, with your friends. So how about your family? My family? Yes. Don't you go eat out with your family? Uh, no, I don't because I live in I live alone. Ah, uh, are you still a university student? Uh, no, I'm not. Ah, okay. <laughs> so you're just living alone. Yes. Oh, okay, I see. So I guess the second question is uh, answerable. <laughs> so who makes dinner at your home and where do you have dinner? So usually, where do you have dinner? Yes, I have. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, can I, uh, where do you have dinner? Where? Yeah, where? Do, uh, where do you usually? Um, I usually have dinner at my home. So you make your own dinner? Yes. Or meal? Okay, that's great. Um, so I think that's all? Yeah. Okay, yes, so good job. We finished two lessons today. And so, since we still have five minutes left, so what would you like to do with the five minutes? Let me end this class. Ah, okay, yes, it's no problem for hmm. me. 
Okay, thank you so much for coming to my class, Ken. Yeah, thank you so yeah, much. I hope, uh, thank you so much also. I hope to see you next time. Bye. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Hello. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Native Cub, and it's nice to see you again in my class, Ken. Yes. So, the title is How much do you pay for the gym monthly? Please repeat after me. How much do you pay for the gym monthly? How much do you pay for the gym monthly? Very good. Now, please check today's goal. To be able to talk about when, how much, in the simple present tense. Okay, very good. So now let's move on to today's phrases. So please repeat after me twice. First one, how much do you pay for the gym monthly? How much do you pay for the gym monthly? Okay, again, how much do you pay for the gym monthly? How much do you pay for the gym monthly? Okay, next we have, I pay $80 monthly. I pay $80 monthly. Okay, again, I pay $80 monthly. I pay $80 monthly. Very good. Now, let's move on to new words and expressions. So, please check the direction. Listen and repeat after your teacher. Okay, so please repeat after me twice. Okay, first one we have for real. For real. For real. For real. Okay, next we also have here for real. For real. Okay, again, for real. For real. Very good. Next, we have pay for. Pay for. Pay for. Pay for. I pay $80 for the gym. I pay $80 for the gym. Okay, again, I pay $80 for the gym. I pay $80 for the gym. Very good. Next, monthly. 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 How much do you pay for the gym monthly? How much do you pay for the gym monthly? Okay, again, how much do you pay for the gym monthly? How much do you pay for the gym monthly? Very good. Next, we have expensive. 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 It's a little expensive. It's a little expensive. Okay, again, it's a little expensive. It's a little expensive. Very good. Next, we have take. 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 I take classes there. I take classes there. Okay, again, I take classes there. I take classes there. Last one we have, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Okay, we also have here, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Okay, now can we are done with our words and expressions. Do you have any question? Yeah, so far. Very good. Now let's move on to short conversation. Please check the direction. Read the following conversation with your teacher. Okay, so in this conversation, we have four parts. So first one, let's read the conversation together again. Uh, together, so please repeat after me. Okay. Okay, I will start by reading the situation. Lila and James' brother David ran into each other on the street. Lila and James' brother David ran into each other on the street. Hey, David, is that you? Hey, David, is that you? Hey, Lila, what are you doing here? Hey, Lila, what are you doing here? I'm going to 24-hour fitness on Maple Street. I'm going to 24 hour fitness on Maple Street. For real? I go there too. When do you usually go there? For real? I go there too. When do you usually go there? I usually go there in the morning because I take yoga classes. I usually go there in the morning because I take yoga classes. Oh, I see. I never take any classes. How much do you pay for the gym monthly? Oh, I see. I never take any classes. How much do you pay for the gym monthly? I pay $80 a monthly. It's a little expensive, but I go there very often and take classes. 
I pay $80 monthly, it's a little expensive, but I go there very often and take classes. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Very good. So for the second part, let's read the conversation together again. So please repeat after me. Okay. Layla and James' brother David run into each other on the street. Layla and James' brother David run into each other on the street. Hey, David, is that you? Hey, David, is that you? Hey, Lila, what are you doing here? Hey, Lila, what are you doing here? I'm going to 24 Hour Fitness on Maple Street. I'm going to 24 Hours Fitness on Maple Street. For real? I go there too. When do you usually go there? For real? I go there too. When do you usually go there? I usually go there in the morning because I take yoga classes. I usually go there in the morning because I take yoga classes. Oh, I see. I never take any classes. How much do you pay for the gym monthly? Oh, I see. I never take any classes. How much do you pay for the gym monthly? I pay $80 a monthly. It's a little expensive, but I go there very often and take classes. I pay $80 monthly. It's a little expensive, but I go there very often and take classes. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Very good. Now for the third part, let's do a role play. So I'll be Lila and you'll be David. Okay. Okay, I will start. Lila and James' brother David run into each other on the street. Hey, David, is that you? Hey, Lila, what are you doing here? I'm going to 24-hour fitness on Maple Street. For real? I go there too. When do you usually go there? I usually go there in the morning because I take yoga classes. Oh, I see. I never take any classes. How much do you pay for the gym monthly? I pay $80 a monthly. It's a little expensive, but I go there very often and take classes. That's not too bad. Very good. For the last part, let's switch the rules. I'll be David and you'll be Lila. Okay. Lila and James' brother David run into each other on the street. Hey, David, is that you? Hey, Lila, what are you doing here? I'm going to 24 Fitness on Maple Street. For real? I go there too. When do you usually go there? I usually go there in the morning because I take yoga classes. Oh, I see. I never take any classes. How much do you pay for the gym monthly? I pay $80 monthly. It's a little expensive, but I go there, I go there very often and take classes. That's not too bad. Okay, now Ken, very good. We are done with our conversation. Do you have any question? Not so far. Very good. Now this time, let's move on to our activity question mm -hmm. so please check the direction answer the following questions about the story okay so please answer my questions about the conversation number one how often does lila go to the gym uh, she goes to the uh, very often very good she goes to the gym very often because knowing that she paid very expensive. So that's why she often go to the gym. So when does Lila go to the gym? She goes to the gym in the morning. Very good. That's it. Okay, so usually she goes to the gym to the gym in the morning because she wants to take yoga classes. Okay. Okay, how about third question? How much does Laila pay for the gym monthly? Laila pays $80 for the gym monthly. Very good, correct. She pays or Laila pays $80 for the gym monthly. So it's really expensive. So that's why she really have to go to the gym very often. Okay, so now no question so far, Ken. That's so far. Very good. Now let's move on to our exercise. Okay. Okay, now we'll have some exercise. Please check the direction. 
Look at the following pictures and arrange the words to complete the sentences. Okay, so please do arrange the words. Okay, now let's do the exercise. Okay. Uh, when, when usually, when do they usually go the, go to the gym? Very good. When do they usually go to the gym? They usually go to the gym in the in the evening. How much do they pay for the gym? Monthly. Very good. Okay. How much do they pay for the gym monthly? Okay. They pay fifty dollars monthly. Okay, very good. Now, how about the second picture? When, when does he usually go to the supermarket? Correct again. When does he usually go to the supermarket? He usually goes to the supermarket after work. How much does he spend on food monthly? Okay, very good. Correct arrangement. He spends... $300 monthly. Okay, now let's have the next picture. When does he go to the hotel? Mm -hmm. When does he go to the hotel? Very good, correct. He goes to the hotel every Monday. How much does he pay for... For one night? Mm -hmm, correct. How much does he pay for one night? This is his hotel. He never pays for anything. Okay, then he owns the hotel, so that's why he has a free accommodation in the hotel. How about the last picture? When do they go to the bar? Very good. When do they go to the bar? They go to the bar every weekend. How much do they spend on drinks monthly? Mm -hmm. Okay, how much do they spend on drinks monthly? I don't know how much, but they spend a lot of money on drinks. Yes, probably because the drinks at the bar is very expensive. So probably they have to spend a lot of money. Okay, mm. now no questions so far with our exercise, Ken? Not so far. Very good. Now let's move on to our free conversation. Okay, so please check the direction. Let's use the phrases and the words you've learned during the lesson and talk about the following topics freely. Mm -hmm. So let's start. Number one, when do you usually go to the supermarket? I usually go to the supermarket mm, once a week. Once a week, so is what is the day? Every Sunday, every Monday, what? Every Monday. Mm -hmm. I see, I see. So every week, so you really have to visit a supermarket. So is the supermarket near to your house? Mm, near my house. I see. So you are. Uh, it's almost like it is really convenient for you to go back there every week. Because yes. it is just near. Mm. So unlike in my case or in our case, so in my hometown, it's very far. So that's why we can go to the supermarket if we have time. If most especially if we have money as well. Mm, okay, I see. Yes, because somewhat like the uh, the supermarket is also far from our house. I see. I see. So how about question number two? How much do you spend on food monthly? Hmm. I I pay ten ten dollars for for food monthly. Monthly. Hmm. Ten dollars. Yeah. I see. I see. So somewhat like every week. So there's really a specific budget of money every week, and then the total overall for one month it cost ten dollars. Mm. I see, I see. 
So, in buying some food in the supermarket, so what do you usually so Do you usually prioritize the needs of the family or your wants? Wants. Your wants. Mm. Okay, how about the needs like food, drinks? Mm, food and drinks. I see. So, pro so probably, so you will have to prioritize both the needs and the wants yes because when we say needs so these are the basic needs of individuals like food shelter clothing hygiene personal hygiene and then our wants like for example we want some new cell phone we want watch so that's the difference between the needs and wants of individuals yes mm -hmm. i see so how about the third question when do you go to the hair salon? How much do you spend on a haircut? Hmm. I go to I go to the hair salon one once a month. Mm -hmm. uh, I spend on um, five dollars fifty dollars on my haircut. Fifty dollars mm. on haircut. So somewhat like it's ex ex it's expensive. A little. Oh, I see. Wow. So that's why you'll just have to go there once a month because if you will go there twice a month or twice a month, so it's really expensive. So probably you really have to budget more also for your haircut. Yes. If that's the case. I see, I see. Okay, so thank you, Ken, for sharing this and for expressing your ideas. So we are done with our lesson. Yeah. So do you have any questions, clarifications? Not so far. Very good. Now we still have time. Do you want to proceed to the next textbook? Um, let's proceed. Mm -hmm. 13. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now let's have here uh, lesson 13. The title is Review on Lessons 6 to 12. Please repeat after me. Review on Lessons 6 to 12. Review on Lessons 6 to 12. Very good. So please check today's goal. To be able to master Lessons 6 to 12 and use them comfortably. Very good. So now let's move on to our new words and expressions. So please repeat after me twice. Okay. First one we have each other. Each other. Each other. Each other. They see each other every day. They see each other every day. Okay. Again, they see each other every day. They see each other every day. Next we have a personal problem. Personal problem. Personal problem. Personal problem. The, they talk about personal problems. They talk about personal problems. Okay, again, they talk about personal problems. They talk about personal problems. Very good. Next, we have spend. 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 Emily often spends time with Lila's family. Emily often spends time with Lila's family. Okay, again, Emily often spends time with Lila's family. Emily often spends time with Lila's family. Okay, next we have weekday. 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 Lila usually stays at her apartment on weekdays. Lila usually stays at her apartment on weekdays. Okay, again, Lila usually stays at her apartment on weekdays. Layla usually stays at her apartment on weekdays. Next, we have a different. 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 Emily's family lives in a different state. Emily's family lives in a different state. Okay, again, Emily's family lives in a different state. Emily's family lives in a different state. Very good. Next, the same way. The same way. The same way. The same way. Lila feels the same way about Emily. Lila feels the same way about Emily. 
Okay, again, Laila feels the same way about Emily. Laila feels the same way about Emily. Next, we have live. 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 They both live in the same city. They both live in the same city. Okay, again, they both live in the same city. They both live in the same city. Very good. Next, we have same. 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 They go to the same school. They go to the same school. Okay, again, they go to the same school. They go to the same school. Next, we have a doctoral candidate. Doctoral candidate. Doctoral candidate. Doctoral candidate. They are doctoral candidates. They are doctoral candidates. Okay, again, they are doctoral candidates. They are doctoral candidates. Okay, next we have a doctor. 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 Emily works for Dr. Green. Emily works for Dr. Green. Okay, again, Emily works for Dr. Green. Emily works for Dr. Green. Next we have stay. 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 Lila usually stays at home. Lila usually stays at home. Okay, again, Lila usually stays at home. Lila usually stays at home. Okay, next we have visit. 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 They often visit her family on weekends. They often visit her family on weekends. Okay, again, they often visit her family on weekends. They often visit her family on weekends. Okay, lastly, we have welcome. 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 Lila's family always welcomes her. Lila's family always welcomes her. Okay, last one. Lila's family always welcomes her. Lila's family always welcomes her. Very good. Now we are done with our words and expressions. No questions so far? None so far. Very good. Now let's move on to our short story. I guess so please check the direction. Read the story with your teacher. Okay, so first, let's read the short story together. So please repeat after me. Okay. Okay, so let's start. Lila and Emily are best friends. Lila and Emily are best friends. They both live in the same city and they go to the same school. They both live in the same city and they go to the same school. They are doctoral candidates. They are doctoral candidates. Lila works for Dr. Brown and Emily works for Dr. Green in their laboratories. They are Dr. Can ah, Lila works for Dr. Brown and Emily works for Dr. Green in their laboratories. They see each other every day and they often study together too. They see each other every day and they often study together too. Because they see each other every day, they talk about many things, work, their dreams, friends, family, and even their personal problems. Because they see each other every day, they talk about many things, work, their dreams, friends, family, and even their personal problems. Today, they are spending time at Lila's parents' house. Today, they are spending time at Lila's parents' house. Lila usually stays at her apartment on weekdays and often visits her family on weekends. Lila usually stays at her apartment on weekdays and often visits her family on weekends. Lila's family knows Emily and they like her very much. Lila's family knows Emily and they like her very much. Emily sees her family only twice a year because they live in a different state. Emily sees her family only twice a year because they live in a different state. Emily often spends time with Lila's family. Emily often spends time with Lila's family. Emily never feels lonely because Lila's family always welcomes her. Emily never feels lonely because Lila's family always welcomes her. Emily thinks she is so lucky to have a friend like Lila, and Lila feels okay. the same way about Emily. Thank you Emily. so much. Bye. But see
Hello. Hello, good afternoon. Yes. Can you hear and see me clearly? Okay, yes, I can. so I have seen her that you've chose a grammar beginner 14. Am I correct? Yes. Okay, so today's lesson is on grammar beginner 14. And the title is Can you speak Arabic? Please repeat. Can you speak Arabic? Okay, please check today's goal. To be able to talk about one's capabilities. Okay, so let's move on to today's phrase and please repeat after me twice. Okay. Can you speak Arabic? Can you speak Arabic? Can you speak Arabic? Can you speak Arabic? Yes, I can speak a little Arabic. 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 A little. A little. A little. A little. I can write and read Arabic 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 a little. Awesome. 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 One more time. Awesome. Awesome. Semester. 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 I am taking an Arabic class this 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 semester. Even. 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 I can't even remember the alphabet. I can't even remember the alphabet. I can't. I can't even remember the alphabet. I can't even remember the alphabet. Remember. 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 I don't remember the alphabet anymore. 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 Difficult. 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 Arabic is a difficult language. 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 Alright, so let's move on to short conversation. So please check the directions can. Read the following conversation with your teacher. Alright, so let's read the conversation together and please repeat after me. Okay. Charlotte is talking to Allison, who is a friend of Charlotte's older sister, Layla. Charlotte is talking to Allison, who is a friend of Charlotte's older sister, Layla. What kind of music do you like, Allison? What kind of music do you like, Allison? I like Arabic music. I like Arabic music. That's cool. Can you speak Arabic? That's cool. Can you speak Arabic? Not really, but I can write and read a little, so I can understand it. Not really, but I can write and read a little, so I can understand it. Awesome! Can you help me with my Arabic homework? Awesome! Can you help me with my Arabic homework? Yes, I can. Are you taking an Arabic class this semester? Yes, I can. Are you taking an Arabic class this semester? Yeah, I am, but I can't even remember the alphabet. Yeah, I am, but I can't even remember the alphabet. Oh, I know that feeling. Arabic is a difficult language. Oh, I know that feeling. Arabic is a difficult language. All right, so let's read the conversation together again and please repeat after me, okay? Okay. Charlotte is talking to Allison, who is a friend of Charlotte's older sister, Layla. Charlotte is talking to Allison, who is a friend of Charlotte's older sister, Layla. What kind of music do you like, Allison? What kind of music do you like, Allison? I like Arabic music. I like Arabic music. That's cool. Can you speak Arabic? That's cool. Can you speak Arabic? Not really. But I can write and read a little, so I can understand it. Not really, but I can write and read a little, so I can understand it. Awesome! Can you help with me with my Arabic homework? 
Awesome. Can you help me with my Arabic homework? Yes, I can. Are you taking an Arabic class this semester? Yes, I can. Are you taking an Arabic class this semester? Yeah, I am. But I can't even remember the alphabet. Yeah, I can. But I can't. E uh, yeah, I am. But I can't even remember the alphabet. Oh, I know that feeling. Arabic is a difficult language. Oh, I know that feeling. Arabic is a difficult language. All right. So this time, Ken, let's do a role play. I will be Charlotte, and you will be Allison. Okay. okay? Yes. Let's start. Charlotte is talking to Allison, who is a friend of Charlotte's older sister, Layla. What kind of music do you like, Allison? I like Arabic music. That's cool. Can you speak Arabic? Not really, but I can write and read a little, so I can understand it. Awesome. Can you help me with my Arabic homework? Yes, I can. Are you taking an Arabic class this semester? Yeah, I am. But I can't even remember the alphabet. Oh, I know that feeling. Arabic is a difficult language. Alright, so this time, let's switch the rules so I will be Alison and you will be Charlotte. Okay. Charlotte is talking to Alison who is a friend of Charlotte's older sister, Layla. What kind of music do you like, Alison? I like Arabic music. That's cool. Can you speak Arabic? Not really, but I can write and read a little so I can understand it. Awesome. Can you help me with my Arabic homework? Yes, I can. Are you taking an Arabic class this semester? Yeah, I am. But I can't even remember the alphabet. Oh, I know that feeling. Arabic is a difficult language. Alright, so we are done, Ken. Now let's move on to question. Please check the directions. Answer the following questions about the story. Alright, so please answer my question. So let's have a number one. Can Charlotte speak Arabic? No, she can't. Yes, correct. No, she can't. Can Allison write and read Arabic? Yes, he. Yes, she can a little. Yes, she can. Does Allison think Arabic is a difficult language? Yes, she does. Alright, uh, that's correct. Yes. She does. Very good. Now let's move on to exercise. Please check the directions. Look at the following pictures and talk about what they can do and what they can't do. Okay, so let's do the exercise. But before that, let's read the example first. Okay. Uh, can she... Okay. Uh, go ahead. Okay. Can she speak Arabic? Yes, she can, but she can't speak Japanese. Okay, now let's answer the first activity. Can he cook Chinese food? Yes, he can cook. Huh? Can yes. he cook Chinese food? Okay, no, he can't cook Chinese food, but she can cook Italian food. She or he? Ah, he, sorry. He. Okay, could you say it again? Again, can he cook Chinese food? No, he can't cook Chinese food, but he can cook Italian food. Yes, that's correct. No, he can, but he can cook Italian food. Next. Can he play the violin? Yes, he can play the violin, but he can't play the piano. Uh, yes, yes, he can, but he can play the piano next can she play soccer no she can't play soccer but she can play valuable no she can play soccer but she can play a valuable yes that's correct let's have next can whale whales swim yes they can swim but they can't fly yes that's correct yes they can but they cannot fly okay let's have the next can they sing no they can't sing but they can dance no they can't sing but they can dance 
Can she repair cars? No, she can't repair cars, but she can drive. Yes, but she can uh, drive. Uh, she can drive. drive cars. Yeah, but she can drive cars. Yes. All right, very good. You answered all the exercises correctly. Good job. So now let's move. Do you have any questions about the exercise, Ken? Not so far. Not so far. So now let's move on to free conversation. Please check the directions. Let's use the phrases and the words you've learned during the lesson and talk about the following topics freely. Okay, so let's start. Can you understand Arabic? No, I can't. So what language can uh, you understand? I can understand English. Uh, um, only English? English and Japanese. Yeah, so two languages, English and Japanese. Um, how about other language? And no more. No more, only English and Japanese. Okay. Um, can your family speak English? No, they can't speak English. So only you can speak English? Yes. Oh, that's great. Can you sing well? No, I can't. No, you can't, but you can dance. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we are done with our lessons. Ken, do you have any questions? Not so far. Okay, so let us review for today's lesson. So here are some words for today's lesson. So I want you to repeat after me three times, okay? Okay. A little. A little. A little. A little. A little. A little. Remember. 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 One more time. Remember. Remember. Okay, and next we have Arabic. 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 Oh, one more time. Arabic. Arabic. Okay, good job. I'm uh, regarding with the uh, mispronounced words. Um, actually, I didn't notice any mispronounced words, so just give it up. Okay. All right. So, oh, we still have twelve minutes, and uh, we are done with our lessons. Let's move on to next. To place. next. Uh, okay. Okay, so we are now on Grammar Beginner 15, right? Yes. Okay, so today's lesson, Grammar Beginner 15, and the title is, Can I have a chicken salad, please? Please repeat. Can I have a chicken salad, please? Okay, please check the list, go. To be able to ask for permission to do something. Okay, so now let's move on to today's phrase, and please repeat after me twice. Okay. Can I have a chicken salad, please? 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 Certainly. 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 All right, so now let's move on to new words or expressions. So please check the directions. Listen and repeat after your teacher. Okay, so please repeat after me twice. Okay. Table four. Table four. Table four. Table four. Table for one. Table for one. Table for one. Table for one. Booth. 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 Can I have a booth? 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 Order. 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 Are you ready to order? 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 Of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. One more time. Of course. Of course. Certainly. 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 One more time. Certainly. Certainly. Sure. 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 
Sure. Sure. Sure. One more time. Sure. Sure. Absolutely. 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 Oh, one more time. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right away. Right away. Right away. Right away. Right away. Right away. One more time. Right away. Right away. Okay, so let's move on to short conversation. So please check the directions. Read the following conversation with your teacher. Okay, so let's read the conversation together and please repeat after me. Okay. Layla's uncle Benjamin walks into the restaurant alone. Layla's uncle Benjamin walks into the restaurant alone. Good evening, sir. Welcome to Tomato Garden. Table for one. Good evening, sir. Welcome to Tomato Garden. Table for one. Yes. Can I have a booth? Yes. Can I have a booth? Yes, of course. Yes, of course. Are you ready to order? Are you ready to order? Yeah. Can I have a chicken chicken salad, please? Yeah. Can I have a chicken salad, please? Uh, certainly. Anything to drink, sir? Certainly. Anything to drink, sir? Can I have a glass of sparkling wine? Can I have a glass of sparkling wine? Sure, absolutely. Sure, absolutely. Excuse me, can I have a dessert menu? Excuse me, can I have a dessert menu? Yes, sir, right away. Yes, sir, right away. Okay, so let's read the conversation together again and please repeat after me. Okay. Layla's uncle Benjamin walks into the restaurant alone. Layla's uncle Benjamin walks into the restaurant alone. Good evening, sir. Welcome to Tomato Garden, table for one. Good evening, sir. Welcome to Tomato Garden, table for one. Yes. Can I have a booth? Yes. Can I have a booth? Yes, of course. Yes, of course. Are you ready to order? Are you ready to order? Yeah. Can I have a chicken salad, please? Yeah. Can I have a chicken salad, please? Certainly. Anything to drink, sir? Certainly. Anything to drink, sir? Sure, absolutely. Sure, absolutely. Excuse me? Can I have a dessert menu? Excuse me, can I have a dessert menu? Yes, sir. Right away. Yes, sir. Right away. Okay, so this time, Ken, let's do a role play. I will be the waiter and you will be Benjamin. Okay. So let us start. Layla's uncle Benjamin walks into the restaurant alone. Good evening, sir. Welcome to Tomato Garden. Table for one? Yes. Can I have a booth? Yes, of course. I... Are you ready to order? Uh, sorry. Okay. Are you ready to order? Yeah. Can I have a chicken salad, please? Uh, certainly. Anything to drink, sir? Can I have a glass of sparkling wine? Sure, absolutely. Excuse me. Can I have a dessert menu? Yes, sir. Right away. Okay, this time let's switch rules. Okay. Layla's uncle Benjamin walks into the restaurant alone. Good evening, sir. Welcome to Tomato Garden. Table for one. Yes. Can I have a booth? Yes, of course. Are you ready to order? Yeah. Can I have a chicken salad, please? Certainly. Anything to drink, sir? Can I have a glass of sparkling wine? Sure. Absolutely. Excuse me. Can I have a dessert menu? Yes, sir. Right away. Alright. So now let's move on to questions, please. Check the directions. Answer the following questions about the story. Okay, so please answer my question. So let's have number one. Can Benjamin have a booth? Yes. Yes, he can. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, he can. Does he want a beer? No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Can he have a dessert menu? Yes, he can. Yes, he can. Okay, very good. Now let's move on to the next ex so the exercise. So please check the directions. 
Look at the following pictures and arrange the words to complete the sentences. Alright, so now let's do the exercise. Okay. Mm. Please start. Ah. Can I have more wine? Certainly. Next. Next. Can I take pictures now? No, not now, please. Can I... Can I order over the phone? Uh, can I order pizza over the phone? Okay. With pleasure. Hmm. Next. Can I go home now? Sure. Okay, next. Can I talk... Can I talk in the restaurant on the phone? Can I... Can I talk? In the restaurant? Can I talk on the phone in the restaurant? Yes, can I talk on the phone in the restaurant? I'm afraid not. Can I have your phone number? Of course. Okay, now let's move on to role play. So okay. please check the directions. Now, do a role play about ordering at a restaurant. Okay, now let's start. So you can use the words and expressions in the word bank. Okay. Okay, so let us start. Good evening, sir. Welcome to Tomato Garden. Are you a uh, cat? Table for one? Hmm? Table for one? Oh. Yes. Can I have a booth? Of course. Mm. Okay, next. Order the food. Are you ready to order? Can I have a special salad, please? Certainly. Anything to drink? Can I have a glass of wine? Mm. Okay, next. Or order more drinks or desserts. Excuse me. Can I have more wine? Yes, please. Huh? No, 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 please. I mean, I am the one who asked. Can I have her? I don't know. Okay, I, again. Excuse me, can I have more wine? Ah. Mm, mm, of course. Of course. Okay. Um, can I also have a dessert menu? Certainly. Certainly. Or right, sure. Right away, like that. <laughs> All right. So we are done everything in this lesson. So you are very smart. Can you really understand our topic today? Then yeah. keep it up. So do you have any questions? That's so far. None so far. So you've done a very well today. You answered all the exercises correctly. So thumbs up. Give it good job. Mm. And uh, I did noticed any mispronounced words. Like you are very smart. So keep up the good work, Ken. Okay. Do you have any questions? None so far. <laughs> None so far. Mm. Okay, so, but we cannot proceed to the next topic because we don't have enough time. Mm. Yes, so, again, let's, okay, so, let's review today's words. Okay. Okay, so, please repeat after me. Order. 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 Certainly. 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 One more time. Certainly. Certainly. Booth. 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 One more time. Booth. Booth. 
Okay, good job. And for the uh, mispronounced words, I didn't notice any mispronounced words and no grammatical mistakes. So good job. Give it up. All right. So thank you so much for today, Ken, and have a great day. Enjoy your day and see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye. ネイティブキャンプは月額で受け放題のオンライン英会話です。概要欄に公式サイトへのリンクを貼っておきます。